Hi, I'm Madeline Dobbs, and today I'm here in the beautiful home of Liza Nicole from Liza Nicole Interiors in Greenville, Delaware. Liza, hi Madeline. And today we are learning about some of the design, finished design forecasts for 2018. So you're going to share with us a few of your favorite tips? Yes. So when I talk about trends, I'm talking about things that are really more or less here to stay. They aren't going anywhere, kind of like skinny jeans. Um, marble, another one. It's a trend, but it's not. It's here to stay. So that's kind of the level that I want to take us down okay, the path today. All right. Number, Number one. one. <laughs> okay. First up is natural stone. So natural stone, both in the use of open concept spaces, kitchens, dining rooms, hallways, bathrooms as well. Natural stone, I mean things like travertine and limestone really have a natural element to them. They have a nice warm tone and texture. They really emote calm, cool, collected. It's that nice space that just flows throughout. Also on shower walls, it's a great opportunity to do big slabs of natural stone. It's really beautiful, really can elevate your design. And if you don't have a ton or a huge budget, big natural slabs are a great way to go. So natural stones, number one. Number one. So we have paint, paper, and millwork. First up, let's address paint. As we all know, or if you don't yet, Pantone does a color of the year, and this year it is ultraviolet, which I'm sure Madeline is very excited about. It is a really gorgeous, deep, huge shade of purple. Very rich, very textural, adds so much dimension to many spaces, and I see those jewel tones continuing throughout 2018. So also jewel greens and the deep blues, I see them used in office spaces, in powder rooms, even in living spaces if you have the right light. I can really see those nice warmth elements coming back into play, moving into 2018. So there's paint. Now we have paper, and when I say paper, I mean wallpaper. There are so many different kinds of wallpaper out there these days, from prints to texturals, grass cloths, but wallpaper doesn't have to just be used on walls. It can be used on ceilings. It is an awesome ceiling application if you want to make a statement especially inside of powder rooms. Powder rooms are your place to really get excited and definitely show off your aesthetic. So why not apply a gorgeous print inside of a powder room, some beautiful lighting, nice dado millwork, if you will, we'll get to that in a second. And you can kind of call your powder room the day when it comes to that. It really gives that oomph statement. Same thing within foyers. You can use it on your foyer in your ceiling as well. So there's wallpaper. Last, we have millwork. Millwork is woodworking, okay? So as you can see behind me right here, for example, we have just a traditional half wall picture frame molding. It's very common, it goes up the stairs. We have it all throughout the downstairs entryway level of our home, and it just creates this continuity and a level of customization that you can add to a home, especially a new build home. We also added it all around our archways to again, give it that extra step up, that extra piece of customization. You can use millwork also on ceilings, right? So we have coffered ceilings. There is shiplap. Everybody loves shiplap these days. So when you mix, for example, the paint, the paper, and the millwork together, it really creates this beautiful, vibrant, customized space. So all of this is great. I yeah. can't wait to share it, but I do have a favorite if, yeah. I'm not, if I may. I'm loving this orchid wallpaper. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? And it's so unexpected in the colors. Yeah. So what would I do with this? Beautiful. I think powder rooms are, again, a great place to really play with patterned wallpaper. And it's got a little metallic to it as well. Okay. So it's very interesting. It's a nice, nice touch. I love it. Yeah. Was that planned? <laughs> Maybe. And this too. I think I could use a little bit of this in my life. Yeah. You know, I love How it. How awesome. It is, it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I would put that up on a ceiling. Why not? Which Unless you want to do a focal wall in a bedroom, that's also an awesome spot if you really want to make a statement. But it's bold. But hey, you got to be bold in life, right? Wallpaper is bad. <laughs> okay. Anything else before we're done for 2018? <laughs> I'd love for everyone to continue following my journey as a designer as I work with clients throughout all of Delaware, Philadelphia, etc. So you can follow me on Instagram, which is at Liza Nicole Interiors. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And thanks again for the tour of your gorgeous home here in Greenville, thank Delaware. We look forward to sharing her design tips and more in the future. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>